All right, well, thank you for meeting with us today, first of all. We're really happy to have this opportunity. And I just kind of wanted to start off and have you talk about your journey this season and what it means to you to get to the Final Four and to win that national championship. Just to be there and to go out and people weren't expecting us uh, against Loyola. They thought maybe we, were, we had peaked in the Notre Dame game the week before and it actually made us looser and, and won it even more. And we went out and, and competed really hard, got out to a great start on Loyola and and cruise from there, but uh, and then playing in one of the greatest lacrosse games in, in championship history and defeating Maryland in overtime. So it was special not only for um, all the hard work of the coaching staff and the support staff, but I am so proud of our players, the student athletes that have worked so hard. Okay, so now that you've won a national title, does it change anything for you guys going forward and mindset, process, all that kind of stuff? Well, somebody asked me, is like, do you feel pressure now that you're defending national champion? And I said, you know, my, my answer to them was no one's going to ever take the 2016 national championship trophy from us, um, so we're not defending anything. And, and the second piece is the pressure's off now. Um, now we can go out and play loose and, and play our game from the beginning of the season to the end and not worry about you know, trying to break the trend of, of not being there. Um, so I think it'll make us a looser, more exciting uh, bunch to watch moving forward. Um, but with that becomes responsibility and responsibility of student athletes and coaches to, um, you know, as the national champion to, to do all the right things on the field and off the field. Yeah, so that's a good shift for us. So how do you feel that service off of the field plays a role in your success on the field, just generally speaking? Yeah, I've always talked to our student athletes about the importance of, um, of giving back. Um, we are in a bubble here in Chapel Hill and, you know, certainly uh, live in a great spot and, and have wonderful opportunities as student athletes to play lacrosse or other sports here. Um, and for our young men to have a platform to give back to, to other kids in particular, I think it's a wonderful thing. So you've worked with Versus Cancer for a little bit. Is there any way that Versus Cancer has specifically contributed to getting you to this point or your success? There's no question. I mean, um, you know, Chase has, has been a, um, you know, just a huge advocate for uh, showing us and our young men the, the way and the importance of giving back to um, kids that are uh, struggling with their own battles, whether it's with cancer or other things and uh, health issues. And I think just seeing their families and the smiles on their faces as, as we have an opportunity to, you know, to shave our heads in front of them and, and fundraise for them um, and for the opportunity to give back to the Versus Cancer Foundation is, is such a wonderful thing. And I think Chase has, you know, talked to our guys every year since he started the Versus Cancer Foundation. And, um, you know, his message is loud and clear that, that we are so fortunate um, and you never know what tomorrow is going to bring and to live life to the fullest and, and appreciate what you do have. And, uh, but also in the same vein, to give back to, to others. Um, what has your experience with Versus Cancer been like? And if there's a team that's on the fence about whether they're going to work with Versus Cancer, what would you tell them? I think it's for a great cause. It's, it's obviously a, um, the people are so well organized. It's very simple. Um, you know, you put together a nice website where people can donate online, which I think is very easy for um, friends and family to do of your program. Um, but then the opportunity to, to shave our heads, and uh, we usually do it during a football homecoming weekend um, where we're out in the middle of the quad and, and everybody's walking around looking at us, and we have, you know, versus cancer banners up and, and all the guys, including the coaching staff, shave their heads um, for a great call. So it's a combination of fun competitiveness, uh, but also the importance of raising money for childhood cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> you know, I think the, the biggest thing for, for our guys to see after you know, they, they raise the funds, is going to visit Children's Hospital and, and um, seeing where the funds have gone and visiting the pediatric playroom and to play with the kids themselves who are uh, benefiting from the wonderful support and, and where our money has, all the money that is raised has gone. And it's uh, to see the joy on the parents' faces and, and the, the kids who are running around playing with our student athletes is just a, uh, 
you know, it, it's wonderful to see. And, and How's it feel? It feels good. It's cold. Yeah, leave the mullet. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> sure.